In football, you know, the reason a kicker is successful is not just because he's talented. The reason that any kicker is usually successful is because of the snapper, snapping perfect laces. And then the final ingredient is the holder. Uh, on this website, this section is about the holder. And I'm now gonna go over different fundamentals that make a great holder. As far as a stance for a holder, a lot of times holders will always have that back leg up so that this arm is gonna hit right here. All right, we're always gonna to try to catch the ball and probably give them a target about six inches inside or snappers a lot of times aim for this knee. All right, that's why if they snap here, they can catch the ball, maneuver the laces to get them down to have a perfect hold. But when the snapper snaps out here more and goes this way, then sometimes that causes a little problem with the rhythm of the kicker. So again, now as far as stance, we're in this position, knee here, this arm, when it comes back, hits and gives you the spot, a consistent spot. Many times a holder gets a little closed down, so I like the holder to open up like a catcher, so open that knee up, there you go. So now if there's any snaps that go back here, it's easier to catch behind you, all right? And so now you can see, show me your stance, that's it. So if you get a good snap, the ball's right there, put it down, good. And now if you get a snap that goes to the inside or on the back shoulder, see you're still, it's still easy enough to catch that ball and bring it down, adjust the laces and get a perfect, perfect hold. Now, what I tell holders, the most important thing is to catch the ball and get it down on the ground fast. Every kicker likes to see the ball as long as he can. So that's point number one or rule one, catch the ball, get it down fast. Now, as far as the mechanics of it is catching the ball, what I try to teach with a beginner is as he catches the ball, lets the ball come to him, he catches the ball coming to him, and he thinks of palming the ball and putting the ball down tilted or angled the way the kicker wants the ball angled. So it's catch, palm, angle. Catch, palm, angle. All right? So now we got the perfect angle. The next thing is if we're not getting perfect laces is how we're gonna turn the ball. So now it becomes catch, palm, angle, fingers on top. And a lot of times NFL holders will use a two finger tripod to turn it. Some will use a three finger tripod, all right, or combination thereof. So again, the key now is catch, tilt, fingers on top, finish catch, palm, fingers on top, get the tilt, finish. All right. So as I'm teaching, I'm always thinking of controlling the ball with the front hand, always getting the back hand on the ball or the nipple of the ball to turn it, and then this other hand gets in here so it doesn't block it. Another key ingredient is being aware of where the laces come out and using what I call a wrist roll. So now as I catch the ball, if I feel the laces back here and I'm working, I'm already trying to wrist roll the ball this way and get a quarter turn so it make, becomes easier to turn the ball and get the perfect hold. So now the awareness of catching the ball, wrist roll, fingers on top, getting the angle the way I want it, and then these two hands really working together. And when you actually get in the game, both hands have to be working together. So if I get the perfect snap and I put it down, it's already palmy, angle, finish. If I don't get the perfect snap, then it's both hands working together. Now if the laces go inside, I catch it, palm it, fingers on top, use the thumb, and get the perfect hold. If it's to the outside, I feel the laces, I try to wrist roll as far as I can, angle the ball, all right, fingers on top, finish, and get the hand in here. So there you have it, folks. Those are some of the fundamentals to a great holder. Um, on the website, you'll see me working with some different holders, uh, punters that are going to try to make it in the NFL. And to be a, a punter in the NFL, you have to be a great holder. So enjoy this 
video on holding technique.